Good morning, everyone. Uh, in the tradition of Bob's uh, presentation, I will not go through what I have planned because of all of the inputs that I've heard throughout, and I'll make some additions uh, from here and there. So, although the focus is on um, local organizing, we'll look at the following issues. First, just you know, in broad sweeps, maybe one or two slides. What's the history of where we are now, why did things happen the way they are? Second, yeah. Second would be the current problems with which we are faced today. And three, how do we look at the world? I will skip definition and what is our course of action? Uh, what's the task ahead for the people's movement of working for human rights? Okay, so we'll look at the historical problem, but then. Uh, before we, uh, we move on ahead, I, I'd like to take a few moments to say that we should really appreciate the fact that we're all here together. Uh, people have gone to different meetings in Alameda, California, in Hawaii, in Alaska, maybe over 150, and Zimbabwe, over 150 persons. And this concept of paper, the notes, it's not their paper, it's our paper. Change your uh, pronoun when you use the possessive pronoun. It's our paper. If you have complaints, you're part of the problem. <laughs> because you were told, I was told, what's the problem? Put, give your input. If you want revisions, put revisions. If you did not, forever keep your peace. <laughs> right? We were told repeatedly, refine this. And this is one. A way by which uh, Levy was able to, he could have just published it and that's it, we have a local organizing manual. In fact, he went to the people. You are the people. This is in the tradition of organizing, listening to you, making a million and one revisions. And don't say, why do, why do we have this framework? We need a new one. Excuse me? You were there in Alameda. You were there in Hawaii. You were there in Zimbabwe. You were there in Alaska. If you don't like it, so where have you been? You wasted money. You didn't know what was going on, right? We were all part of it. This is our document, not his or their. It's our production. So we are part of the co-production of knowledge, okay? So we should really appreciate the fact that we work together. Yes, there are many training manuals, uh, published in Asia, in Africa, you know, training for transformation uh, in East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, South, Deep South, Philippines, religious, Catholic, Protestant. Okay, tell me which one is the local organizing man. Mm -hmm. Ray, this, this is, is the a good process. That we are filling. This is an ongoing work in process. It's an as ongoing a group. process. And if there are problems, raise them, you know, uh, give your comments, send them in. And I'm part of those who say we need women voices. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's find. Instead of complaining, let's be constructive as well. Complain is one thing, doing is another. There's a time to break down, there's a time to build. We have to do both. Yeah. Now, we can look at the world in two ways. One, we say, okay, we have great ideas. Let's start with ideas. That's the uh, ontology that focuses on thinking. But others say, no, ideas are secondary. Let's look at how things are in the world. Let's begin with that. Then you have another way of looking at the world. But there are two focuses. One would say, well, maybe let's look at big words first. And then that would be the rationalist approach. Others would say, uh, why don't we look at experience, okay? as being primary instead of uh, instead of ideas. Okay, and in terms of history, there are a few in broad strokes problems that we see in, in the whole world. One is domination. It could be somebody like Martha saying came from some you know, good looking country got lost and say they discovered it. Okay, like, hello. People were there, they were first nations, that's what they're called first. And it 
continued on. They said, we'll give you some trinkets so that we can own the land. Like, now we give you the Bible, but we'll get the land. Okay? We've heard that very often. And then oppression. Okay? Uh, that happened all over the world and exploitation. So we see the division of the world into the exploited, into the uh, people who are exploiting. So you have resistance. People did not accept things as they are. People fought. You have the waves of national liberation. You have the wars, including the U.S. of independence, uh, and, and so on. The fight for more democratic rights in England, and so on. So this is more of the historical uh, experience rooted approach. The empirical rather than the rational, the ideas being primary. Okay, and uh, so just to, again, in broad strokes, first you have the people who fought against the one all-powerful king. You had the English Magna Carta, and it happened in many other parts of the world as well, the same thing. The second, the U.S. Revolution, this is based on reality first, and laws and instruments came later. And you have the U.S. Declaration of Independence, U.S. Constitution, and then the French Revolution, after which you have the French Declaration of Rights. World War II and Holocaust. Levy mentioned the beautifully uh, worded preambular statements in the Universal Declaration and other instruments. If you look at human rights instruments, they start with reality, not with big, beautiful words of human rights. They say because of human suffering, untold human suffering, during Second World War, and where people were uh, under foreign uh, dictatorial rule, etc and so on, repression, that we now have new principles that we all agree upon, human rights, okay? So we look at this and now beyond uh, human rights in very general, we have women's rights, LGBT rights, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, th there is something known called uh, neo-colonial consciousness and identity. Who know, I, I, Marta knows, I'm sure, Franz Fanon. Okay, he wrote a very important book. Okay, yeah, black, uh, black, faces. Uh, black face, white skin. Mm -hmm. Meaning, no, we mask. are- Mask. 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 Mask, okay. So, I may be Filipino, there are many other symbols. And, yeah, the direction of the earth. It's saying that people who were under foreign rule now started to think like the col colonial powers. That becomes a problem. Like, you know, for Filipinos, we call it colonial and neo-colonial consciousness and identity. Okay, so we imitate and mimic everything they say. And then there's even a good article which talks about why is it when it's Foucault, when it's Deleuze, okay, when it's Bart, when it's Derrida, when it's Leota, it's called philosophy. But when it's Nyukom Nyere, if it's Franz, Franz Fanon, if it's Constantino, they call it ethno-philosophy. <laughs> What's the difference? Color. They also, people of colors also produce philosophy, but they are denigrated into sub-types of philosophy. We always quote the great POMOs, the POCOs, post-modern and post-colonials. Like, aren't they appropriating our knowledge too? Okay, many times when people go out, do research, they become the main authors, forgetting the people who help them. Mm -hmm. But Levy did not do that. Levy, in fact, could have produced this book by himself. Mm -hmm. He went back to the people. You are the people. Gave your voices to. But think about it. Did Jesus ask for your voice so he will put it in the Bible? <laughs> No, he spoke by himself. <laughs> uh, did Martin Luther King say, okay, I'll interview you, what do you think? <laughs> That's romanticism too. Yes, we need to talk to the people, but there's a proper role for everything under heaven. People have specific roles to play. Okay. And in fact, the book you know, that Levy mentioned I wrote uh, is based on the ideas of the community organizers I asked. Yeah, 200 Ray, people. Yeah, yeah. Ray just produced a book almost like this by himself. 
<laughs> and it's just published in Germany. The point is, yeah, it's by me, but I uh, no. specifically indicated. I asked 200 people, community organizers, and I specified there were 69 who responded. I named them, each and every one of them who spoke and who were part of them. I just uh, was able to weave everything together, but their voices came through. So now we should think about that, that uh, there are problems that we are confronted with in the world. The problem with human rights, though, uh, the Declaration of Independence, for example, in schools, we hang a copy, we buy a copy, but U.S. foreign policy is more Machiavellian than following the Declaration of Independence, talking about the rights of people. She's my friend, and this is a photo from the New York Times. When you were, I'm a member of the DeKalb <coughs> Interfaith Network for Peace and Justice. We work for peace and justice across generation, across color. We, we stay in that corner every Friday, all kinds of uh, things, and just weave all issues together. And uh, she was saying, and I'm saying, you know, we have to organize more people. It's us, the dying people, who are always in the corner, rain or shine, snow or sleep. It's hard to organize the youth because we used to all tactics. We always sing Kumbaya, we shall overcome. Fine, that's wonderful. But when you talk to students, and I give orientation to all kinds of students every semester, uh, including Latino and African American, just that group. And I say, uh, how do you like MLK, Martin Luther King? Like, that's history. I say, can't you relate to him? No, that's bygone days. I was very shocked to hear that. So who's your hero now? Obama. I said, yeah, but without MLK, there's no Obama. No, that's for old people. So we have to try to, re at the same time, have a dialogue, say the importance of MLK. At the same time, we have to know what they think and do. For example, hip hop is not only in the US, it's in Asia, it's in Mali, it's in Congo, it's in Switzerland, it's the highest concentration of new songs in hip-hop. We have to use that as a method to spread our words of progress and change. We may not like it, maybe we can have youth organizers who do hip-hop. Uh, we also work with Muslims in Chicago, maybe Christine know them, the uh, inner city Muslim action network. Yeah, they do hip-hop and they have hip-hop festivals to organize Christians and Muslims together. Okay, uh, Cornel West said, if only war on poverty was a real war, then we would actually be putting money into it. See? <laughs> okay, so we talk about we want to help the working class and so on. In each country, it's different. Uh, many people in different parts of the world, Asia, Africa, are people who live, you know, just on the threshold of the poverty line. In the U.S., they are the working class. If you take away the jobs, then everyone will join the, the mass army of the impoverished people below the poverty line, even which is happening class. today. Even the middle class. And even, yeah, middle class. For sure. So unit of analysis, when we talk about uh, doing our work, uh, uh, nature, and we're reminded by Dr. Elizar that environment has a connotation, maybe we have to use other words. Correct, because environment comes over environ, which means around. Around what? Us. So it's still anthropocentric, like I am the center of the world. So nature is, it's all inclusive. Everyone is part of it. So when you say environment, there's a bias already. It's me at the center, and you are not plants, animals, and non-human animals are in the periphery. Okay. Then, so you have people, animals, nature, the state corporations, and others. And what we need to do uh, is to be sensitive to this local uh, knowledge production. For example, we have people from Africa here, right? So if you don't speak up, your voice will not be heard. The reason for which you're here is we want, general board wants your voices to be included in the document. And people from Martha's continent, right? People from Asia, from the US, from Hawaii, you know, uh, Alaska. We want all voices to be. So I don't think there's a book, I may be wrong, like this, 
that has voices of 150 people from all over the world. It's not by one author or two or three or four co-authors. You are all co-authors in the production of the manual. Do not forget that you are part of the problem if you find out their problems. <laughs> it's not them and us, it's we are one working together. Okay, and transformation. That's what we're after, we want to bring about change. And three, uh, there are three levels of work. We are more in the middle, we're more comfortable, we can wear tie and whatever. Uh, we are not really down, we are uh, working with people downtrodden, marginalized. Uh, we're still privileged, there are different levels of privileges, mm. okay? Of course there's a, a white Anglo-Saxon male, super, mega, hyper privilege. Mm. And then there are other levels of privileges, okay? And so on. So we're just acting as catalysts, but the people who are moving for change may be at the grassroots level. Okay, now, framework. Okay. So the way we look at the world, from doing environment to doing gender,